Hello, I'm Simon and welcome to the Cyrob channel. And today I'm going to be showing you my two top tips for removing uh, a stuck copper washer from an injector and how to install the injector washer very easily. So we'll begin by um, showing you how to take it out. So I've got this filthy copper washer and so I'll show you how to get that out in a second. And of course you want to put in a nice new copper washer. Um, never put one on top of one. So uh, this is why I'm showing you how to remove the copper washer. Um, and so if I just throw one in. Now this is the... Okay, it's going to look quite easy because it's a nice clean injector port. Nice clean copper washer. But to be honest, the principle's exactly the same. Um, it doesn't matter how... how badly stuck it is so as you can see I'm just measuring the injector tip here and most injector tips are around seven millimeters in diameter so roughly seven seven point five millimeters diameter so I've got my uh, trusty screwdriver which I use for this which is six point five millimeters but it's six point five millimeters right at the tip but as you can see it's a wedge shape so you need a screwdriver that's slim enough at the tip to go into the the hole but then that wedge shape is important as you can see it's just over eight millimeters there at its widest point so that means it's thin enough to go into the copper washer but then too wide to pass so it can't fall into the injector hole but also as you push down into the copper washer it then grips from the wedge shape so if I just put it in now there's the washer down at the bottom just pushing the screwdriver push it in far enough and there we go it's caught on the wedge and the copper washer comes out no problem at all and to be honest if the the washer is you know really badly carbonized and stuck in there it's still going to be no competition for a good spray of carb cleaner um, you just spray that down the sides of the injector port and um, you don't want it going into the engine and then you just put the, the screwdriver in again and just give it a, a wiggle and it'll come out exactly the same um, and then for installing copper washers so as you can see here this one's a, a good fit but it's maybe 0.2 millimeters to, um, wider in diameter so as, it's, as you're putting the injector in the washer will fall off so all I do, I just get some copper grease and um, just put just three or four tiny dabs of copper grease on there and, um, and then just put the, the washer onto the injector. Just give it a little splodge down. You don't want loads of copper grease because you don't want it all coming out everywhere. And as you can see now, just shaking it up and down, that washer's going nowhere. And so that will allow you to put the injector into the port without the washer falling off. 